Hi, I'm Magistra Roy, and today you are going to be learning how to build a very simple scorpion style catapult. Looks kind of like this. I'll show you all the steps. Are you ready? Let's begin by gathering some supplies. Here's what you'll need. Four tongue depressors. These are large popsicle sticks. One boba straw. Usually used for shakes or boba tea. Two binder clips. I believe these are listed as small size. Some ammunition. We'll use two cotton swabs. You can try to use rubber bands if you don't have the next item. You'll need a roll of masking tape. And last but not least, maybe some scissors if your tape cannot be just torn off. Well, let's get started. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take two of your tongue depressors and we're going to lash these or connect them together with some tape. Rolling out about eight inches of tape here. I'm going to grab these two tongue depressors in my non-dominant hand, which for me happens to be my left. I'm gonna hold them tightly together and I'm going to lash this end together <clears throat> with my tape. Looks like this when I'm done. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this end with once again, another eight inches or so of doing the best I can to make these as tight as possible. And this is what it ends up looking like when you're done. Once you're done with these two, you're gonna take your next two and do the same thing with them. So now you've got two of these equal, and we're gonna use these to make our base. Next step. We are going to lash these two pieces together. Now for this, you could use um, your rubber bands if you wanted to. I'm choosing to use tape. Again, about eight inches. And I'm just going to lash them together. As you do this, you want to make sure that you are leaving a little bit more space so that this looks more like a cross rather than a plus sign. This is what we end up with. On this flat piece, you want to go ahead and get your straw. You don't need a full size straw but instead we are going to cut about two and a half to three inches of that straw. This is going to be for our uh, ammunition <clears throat> and it's looking like it's a little too long. Cut it down a little bit more. I would say this is about two inches. And we are going to line it up to where um, it is kind of equidistant on either side and lines up with our lower base part. Taking our tape once again, we're going to tape the first end or the bottom end tightly to the base of our scorpion. And we're going to do the same thing on this end, top part. You don't need much tape for this. This is what it ends up looking like when you're done. This 
This is going to be our guide for the ammunition. Now let's work on the part that's going to give our ammunition some force. We're going to take our two binder clips and just attach them very simply to the bottom base of our scorpion, like so. Now we're going to attach our rubber band. To do this, we are simply going to <clears throat> attach this to the bottom, our bottom base. We're going to twist it. We're going to open up that twist and come over both clips. Twist when we get around that side other clip and come down again. This is what it looks like up close. So you see here, the clip is kind of holding this together for us on both sides. I'm going to do that one more time. Again, starting on this end, I'm going to place my rubber band below binder clip. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to encircle the both clips and our straw guide, twist, and come down to where it looks like this. Now we basically have a working um, a working scorpion because this is going to become our our shooter. Okay. All right. So all we have to do now is insert our Q-tip. And we shoot. A lot of times what uh, my students and I have found is that this rubber band is incomplete as far as shooting. So sometimes we will take a tiny piece of tape, uh, maybe two inches, <clears throat> and we tape the rubber band to give it more surface area and therefore uh, make it more effective shooter. Can't see what I'm doing here. I'm just taping my rubber band. So this is what it looks like after I've taped it. And as you can see, that gives you more coverage when you shoot. So let's see that again. Ammunition. Lining it up. Oh, wow. It shot so far, it actually bounced back toward me. So this is a really effective shooter. As you can see, the little addition of the tape completely covers the entire guide when you're shooting it, thereby not missing any of the possible contact with the projectile. So there you have it. Your very own ancient Roman scorpion model. Have fun.